Hey guys, welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. Yeah, it's me again, David Spade. Wah, wah. What a ripoff, huh? My second night of my mini residency at Uncle Jimmy's Creepy Dungeon. So excited to be here. They never even let me leave. Uh, this is a big gig for me because if it goes well, it means I can charge a little extra on my cameo. Meet mom. You actually get a lot of power as a guest host, but it's harder to be a diva during a pandemic. It's not as fun to throw hot coffee in a PA's face when it just bounces off the face shield. <laughs> it's tough for me to host Jimmy's show because I'm also his best guest. So in the end, you know, who really suffers? You, the American people. Right, Guillermo? There he is. That's right. That's it. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> by the way, what's going on in that room? A little bleak there. You got a couch and a, a plant? Is that a house or a crate and barrel that went out of business? <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's my meditation room, you know? Oh, that's nice. It's, I'm glad you're meditating. I know you, you, you're working up to 45 seconds a day on this. Uh, all right, well, thank you, Guillermo. It's good to see hey, you. Can, can you add me on your Instagram, Mr. Space, please? <laughs> yeah, okay. I pro I, you know what? I'll see if I can. I don't know if I, I, I'm allowed to. Um, all right, I got to go. It's good to see you, buddy. And uh, by the way, speaking of Instagram, I got a lot of flack last night. I posted a beautiful picture of myself in the green room here. Some call it a selfie, stupid, I know. But then everyone was saying I over Photoshopped it and it's horrible filters, which is a total lie because I did, I had someone else do it, but I just did a tiny bit because my face was sunburned. So I go, just make it not so sunburned. And I'm telling you, look at it, here's what I posted. This isn't even a joke. This is what I posted. I know, thirsty, but whatever. And here's what it looked like before. It's not that different. It's the same. And I've seen worse. Listen, I've seen the Kardashian family tree and every one of their pictures. There's some shenanigans going on there. But if that wasn't enough, then Whitney Cummings, right? Comedian Whitney Cummings. She has the balls to chirp in about my wardrobe. Look what she says. Burn the shirt. Um, a black shirt? That's terrifying you? I Googled you, Whitney. This is the first thing that came up. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a plain black shirt on. Harmless. You have season four of Yellowstone printed on your jumper. Anyway, back to work. I'll deal with her later. Um, I'm legally obligated to tell jokes, so I want to make sure I get my scale. So let's get to it. Florida police say a woman pummeled her father due to his repeated flatulence. The dad said he was just testing her sense of smell to make sure she didn't have COVID. I buy it. I think he's being nice. Uh, Beyonce dropped the music video for Brown Skin Girl featuring her daughter, Blue Ivy. This is a rough way to find out I didn't get the part. You know, and I'm not auditioning for her anymore. It's always going to Blue Ivy. A report says the top TikTok stars make as much as five million a year. Kim Kardashian said, I can't believe I could have done a dance video instead of the other video I did and become a millionaire. <laughs> And it's been announced that Olivia Wilde will direct a movie about Spider-Woman. And uh, I'm not even gonna finish this joke. I saw a spider yesterday. I'm just gonna tell that part. I saw a spider coming out of my house. We can cut this later, but I was going out of my house. And of course, it made this huge web across my whole door. So I walk out and it's like, bow. You know when you go into the web? So it's like, mm, and it kind of throws you back because it's so strong. And of course, the spider's right in my face going, what's up? But he's right there, obviously poisonous, because I, I have a hunch. And so I freak out, so I kind of mess up the web, not cool. But then I want to live. So then the next day I go out, but I'm a little scared, a little tentative, because I'm a puss. Now listen, in real life, and I know on TV I come across like a tough guy, hard ass athlete, but in real life, IRL, I'm a little bit of a puss. So I, I don't want to get a spider biting me and I'm, me dying. So I don't see it, and then, drops in the picture from the top, like Cruz in Michigan Possible. He's like, mm. you know what I mean? He's like, what's happening? And so of course, freak out again, run in, get the raid, come back. But I just give him a puff, a little, just a little like perfume. And then he's all tough going like this, but I can tell it's getting to him because he's like this. <laughs> and then he freaks out. Then he starts freaking out. He's going up and down the web. Then he starts spewing webs out of his butt. like uncontrollable webbing, like and I'm like, and then, it's not funny though, 
But I think he was bumming out. But then I, I, I just said, I, I got to end this. So I go, harra, harra, harra. I keep going. He's like, guy, I'm dead. All right, you don't have to blow the whole bottle on me. Dude, I'm soaking in a thousand times my body weight in poison. You think I'm going to pull out of this? You got a little bit on your finger you're about to black out. What are we, 140? Anyway, back to work. I know it's hard to believe by looking at me, but we can snip that. Uh, I, I, I have a lot of friends. Articles are even written. Clickbait articles are written about the subject. Someone sent me this one the other day. It said, 15 celebs David Spade is surprisingly friends with. Well, I'm David Spade. I like surprises, so I checked it out. But when you read it, two things immediately come to mind. Either the author of the article has no idea who I am or no idea what the word surprisingly means. <laughs> For example, number 15 is Adam Sandler. We've been in 7,000 movies and done a TV show together, all right? If you Google David Spade plus Adam Sandler, there's 1.9 million results. Then there's number 12, Chris Farley. <laughs> this is well documented. In fact, the only reason you've ever heard of me is because I was friends with Chris Farley. <laughs> Moving on, number 11 is Chris Rock. Saturday Night Live, Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, 500 dinners. I mean, I feel like this whole article is a wasted opportunity because I do have some friendships that truly are surprising. Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Turns out he's a huge Tommy Boy fan. He kidnapped me, brought me over for a month-long birthday parade, and we've been friends ever since. Sometimes we just start laughing. We don't even know why. That's us on horseback riding on sacred Mount Pikachu. I think that's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> I can't see. Uh, and then there's Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. I was his crack dealer for a little while. I don't know if this is surprising, but as a kid, I was buddies with Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. I was a pretty heavy cigar smoker and a super communist back then. I went through that phase. Uh, this one might really surprise you. I was tight with the guy who murdered my wife. We just hit it off at the trial. Most people don't remember I was married. Uh, that's because he killed her on the wedding day. But um, Anyway, all water under the bridge. Uh, people are always curious about me. I'm fascinating. I even did this thing for Google recently where I answered some of my most commonly asked questions just to set the record straight. Let's look at it. Why won't David Spade's mustache grow in? Thanks for asking. When I was 19, I took my girlfriend's birth control accidentally. I thought it was a one-a-day vitamin. And now I can't grow a mustache, and I can't have a baby. So thanks for bringing up a sore sub. When was the last time David Spade his pants? I refuse to believe one person on Google even asked that, let alone a majority to get to the top of the questions. Uh, I'm not a real pant but I have my friend go, dude, I my pants last week, and I haven't my pants in a while. I go, so that's at least twice, he's a, like, yeah, once a month. I go, something's wrong, dude. You're not supposed to constantly your pants over the age of two. He's like, all the time, dude. What's David Spade's next movie? I don't know, you never know. It's whatever Sandler turns down, so I just don't know. Why is David Spade famous? I was in a rock group called Hanson in high school. Maybe you've heard of it. Mbop, mbop, boop, beep, bop. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Vader! Hey, Kay, we have a great show for you tonight. We have music from the Avid Brothers, and we'll be right back with my friend Lauren Lapkus. <laughs> 